For number 11, we are asked to factor. Use factor theorem to check to see if P of R is equal to zero. So then that means that X minus R is a factor of the polynomial. This polynomial has four terms and it's factorable by grouping. These two have an X squared in common. We end up with X minus 18. And these two have a negative one in common. We end up with X minus 18. So we end up with X minus 18 times X squared minus one. And X squared minus one can be factored. It's a difference of squares. It's factored into X minus one times X plus one. Let's go ahead and graph this without using our graphing calculator. We know X is equal to 18, one and negative one, that those are our x-intercepts. So one at 18, one at one, and one at negative one. And when you let x equal to zero, you get a y-intercept at 18. So these are our x-intercepts. And y-intercept. is P of zero, which is 18. So that's up here. And we know the graph has a leading coefficient of one, so that's positive. And the ends behave like X cubed, that means like this, going down to negative on the left and to positive infinity on the right. So the graph is coming like this, going up, something like this. Okay, not necessarily, it doesn't necessarily have a maximum at 18. We just know it hits the y-axis at 18. We don't know where this minimum occurs, but we're just roughly sketching the graph. Let's verify, press y equals, put the function in, x cubed, minus 18x squared minus x plus 18 x graph and let's change it to zoom 6 that's zoom standard okay and actually we want to go up for the y max we want to go up to at least 20 i'm going to change mine to 30 and for x max we also want to go up to at least 20. Um, so I'll change mine to 30. Let's graph it. Okay. Um, you can't tell very well based on this window what the graph really looks like. Um, let's change this to be from negative 50 to 50. And let's change the X scale. That means every one of these notches, the value of every one of those. Let's change it to, say, 5. And let's change the y min to negative 50 and y max to 50 and change the y scale to 5. That might give us a better view. Mm, not really. OK. Anyway, that's what the graph looks like. Um, we could change our window, we could play around with the window until we have a better view, but um, we know this is what the graph looks like.